Hello ladies and gentlemen, Keaton here and welcome to the Tengu Drop Recap for the week of March 22nd, 2015. This is when we run down everything that we released on the channel this week, so let's start with Monday. On Monday, Joe did more mini Metro, returning to the Auckland, New Zealand map in an attempt to possibly redeem himself from one of his lower scores in mini Metro. So as always, if you've ever seen a mini Metro video, you probably know what to expect. And if you missed out, good news, there's more mini Metro for Monday's video. On Tuesday, I did rescue everyday heroes. And I wouldn't blame you if you skipped over the video because really, I probably would have skipped over the game. But uh, much like a couple of weeks ago or so, uh, plans fell through. So my planned video for that day, it ended up not happening. So instead, I did rescue everyday heroes. And uh, I like to think maybe I'm, I'm a little biased there. I like to think I made it work. So if you thought it probably wouldn't have been a very enjoyable video, don't worry. I took that into account and I tried to make it as fun as possible with some extra editing spice added to it. So you should probably check it out anyway. You might actually like it. The game, no, uh, no, but you know, the video, yeah. Anyway, on Tuesday, Joe also looked at Oceanhorn, Monster of Uncharted Seas. And visually, yes, you would be right in assuming it's it's a game that borrows heavily from the Legend of Zelda series. And this was actually the PC port of the mobile version. Apparently, it's like a PC remastered version, so much higher fidelity, much higher quality uh, textures and effects. Nonetheless, it's Oceanhorn. It's a very long look at Oceanhorn. So maybe if you're not sure if you want to pick up Oceanhorn or you're just looking for a long video to eat some popcorn to, be sure to check it out for Tuesday. On Wednesday, Joe did more Cosmicoria. This time he looked at a recent update that added things such as artifacts and possibly more secrets. But as a Cosmicoria player myself, I have not actually watched this video because, again, I really like to discover these things on my own. But apparently artifacts are one thing you can find. I'm sure there are more things that Joe would uncover in his Cosmicoria quest. So definitely check it out for yourself, especially if you're one of those who have been keeping up with his Cosmicoria update videos. On Wednesday, we also did Payday 2. This is part one where we get into the political field by tampering with the voting machines and effectively having to pull off a heist to make it look like we're not tampering with said voting machines. The good news is if you watched our Payday 1 video that we did a while back, we're playing with a little more knowledge under our belts this time. Um, Tim and I have, have done some extensive Payday escapades paid pay desk paids it, yeah so really this is more of a learning experience for joe and kevin but we still have to fight pretty hard for this particular heist so it's it's, it's action-packed it's just insanity payday 2 is so good and i'm really excited to record more in the future so hopefully you're excited to see more but definitely check that out if you haven't yet on Thursday, it was Nuclear Throne one-shot time, and uh, if you were confused by the thumbnail, don't worry. It pretty much plays into the whole aspect of everything that could have gone wrong on the day that I recorded that video pretty much went wrong. So it was a whole bunch of poop, in my opinion. But uh, yeah, I recorded this episode of Nuclear Throne at the end of the day after a very long day of recording, which included the video that we released on Friday, which I'll get to. But as you can tell, I was pretty damn out of it by, by the time I started recording this. And unfortunately, just, you know, trying to find free time to record. Sometimes I have to do it when I'm damn near about to fall asleep. So it didn't help when, you know, the assassin showed up and totally ruined everything. But that explains why I put a uh, poop on assassins for the thumbnail. Because they kind of deserve it. Just saying. Anyway, on Thursday, I also did Goat Simulator and went about as well as I thought it would go. Um, I was confused for a majority of the the video, cut it down to the uh, probably the best moments in my entire play session, which lasted about an hour before I, before I started to run into some major, major optimization issues 
in the MMO simulator part of Goat Simulator. I don't even know what happened there. I went back and looked at the footage. I'm pretty sure either that was like simulated lag or that was just straight up poor programming or something. I don't know what's going on there, but nonetheless, I pretty much state my opinions in the video. So if you would like to know my opinions on Goat Simulator after playing it for about an hour, you know, they're there for you to consume. On Friday, as I mentioned in the Nuclear Throne bit, yeah, long story short, we had plans and those plans fell through over and over again. Uh, yeah, so originally we wanted to do things like uh, Cards Against Humanity online since that was a new thing that was happening. And we tried Boring Man because it's apparently one of the more popular uh, free to play games on Steam right now. How that's possible? don't know but yes we were pretty much disappointed at every turn and as you can expect you know with a limited time comes a lot of frustration when things don't go right and this was just one recording session in particular where just nothing really went right at all so we were probably a, a little more harsh than we usually would be to video games because we genuinely love video games but when uh, that much goes wrong you end up with some pretty demoralized people. So please just don't let our pain go in vain is all I'm saying there. But you know, anyway, speaking of pain, well, pain for me at least. <laughs> On Saturday, it's the finale of uh, Left 4 Dead 2 Suicide Blitz 2. There we go. And uh, I think I need to explain myself here because I probably come off the most negative in that video. First off, we recorded that back to back with the original part. And I was pretty tired on that day, I remember. Pretty irritable. And the fact that at the end of the last part, the game literally killed me because the stupid... And I mentioned this, I mentioned this in that in the video released on Saturday. It's, it's very frustrating to get stun locked by zombies because they're just punching you over and over again. The logistics there just don't make sense to me. If, you're, if I'm getting punched by like five people in the head, I'm running. Uh, that's just that's just how it goes pop tart or not i'm running so i never understood that part of uh, left for dead but nonetheless the main thing that just irks me is a pet peeve of mine when i play video games is when you put an unskippable aspect especially when it's narrative unnecessary narrative excuse me and, and you put it before a part where you know people are gonna have to repeatedly play that part because it's difficult aka the finale of a left for dead campaign is probably one of the most infuriating things i i experienced in video games and especially in this campaign which was not narrative driven at all you know no conversation or anything has been happening in the entire campaign and then at the very end they're like okay well you're gonna have to spend the first like 20 seconds or whatever of this campaign locked behind a gate unable to progress while you talk to this douchebag on the radio Who's this douchebag? I don't care. I just want to get to the chopper and, you know, finish the campaign. I don't need to know why. They're a zombie apocalypse. That's a that's a good enough reason. That's been the that's been the entire reason for this entire campaign. It's just run away from the zombies, get to the next place. Anyway, <laughs> what I'm trying to say here is at that point, not only does the the map devolve to pretty much every single other Left 4 Dead 2 campaign that we've ever done. Not only does it do that, but again, if you fail, it wastes your time with unnecessary narrative. And that's what drove me insane. And that's the reason I snapped at the end and just didn't really care about it and just pretty much lost a lot of, uh, the, 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 the map lost a lot of points with me. I, that was a long winded explanation, but I think it's justified in the grand scheme of things. Okay. And the fact that we had to do it so many times over and over again was just, uh, Mm, just thinking about it now. Mm, uh -uh. We're going to end it there. Yeah, let's move on to what you can expect on the channel in the coming week. So there are a couple of things that we have planned, but at the time of this recording may not happen. So before you get your hopes up, don't get your hopes up. We haven't heard back on a majority of them, so it's very up in the air. I might have to do like a rescue everyday heroes too. maybe. No, no, no. I don't even know if that exists, but no, we're not doing it. Nonetheless, uh, you can expect the second part of our Payday 2 session. 
So there's that to look forward to. And as I teased in the end of the first payday video, it's a pretty, it's actually a pretty funny video. So there's that to look forward to at least. But anyway, that was the week in Tengu Drop videos. As always, if you missed anything that we released this week on the channel, everything is listed in the description and for your convenience. So be sure to catch up on anything you might have missed, especially payday since, you know, you don't want to go into part two without knowing what happened in part one, right? Yeah. All right. And thank you to everyone who has commented, liked, and favorited our videos. We always appreciate that support. And welcome to all the new subscribers this week. Hope you guys are enjoying the content and are looking forward to what we release next week. But uh, yeah, so uh, before I go, I should remind you guys that next week we will not be doing a Tengu Drop recap, but we will be doing the next episode of Drop Pod, episode four, I believe. So even more things to be excited about. And if you haven't actually listened to any of the Drop Pod, there's a link to the Drop Pod playlist in the description for your convenience. And if you decide to skip out on the podcast for some cruel reason, that's cool. Uh, I'll see you guys the week after for another Tango Drop recap. Bye.